So this is Michael from the Spine Center doing uh, another little review of the Apple ProRes, specifically from the FS7 and the Atomos Shogun Inferno. Um, yesterday I put some really bad lighting out there and today I'm doing not much better. Uh, kind of purposefully just to see what, what I can do with the image. I was really impressed with the overall image quality that we were getting out of the camera. Um, the colors seemed a little better out of, at least straight out of the uh, recorder into Final Cut Pro X on a 2013 MacBook Pro, a really high-end one, but something that impressed me was even on the old computer, um, it cut without any lags, no pauses, it was playing full frame, not optimized media, and I could scrub through it, I could review the images, no problem, just like it was any other proxy file I was using. So I'm excited to see what we can do today. We're gonna to go outside and get a couple of extra images and just kind of see what we can do with our image. So join me and we'll see you in just a minute. So, I had a lot of fun doing this test. Um, I'm not seeing a huge difference in image quality in the 10-bit uh, 1920 by 1080 files that are coming straight out of the FS7 versus the ProRes RAW files coming out of the Ninja, or excuse me, the Shogun Inferno. Probably because even at 1080p, the images straight from the FS7 are down res from 4K, which to me always makes them look a little nicer. One thing that does stand out to me though is um, I'm using a 2013 Mac Pro, and it's pretty high-end, it's got some pretty good specs, but even then, I can take these ProRes RAW files, and they play back without optimized media on this Mac Pro completely smooth. No lag, no hiccups. Um, I've played all of these clips without having a single problem, even when I start putting in the color correction, and yesterday when I did the green screen, it was really easy to play back and view these files at full resolution. That makes a big difference to me. Uh, I am not a professional colorist, obviously, you can probably tell that, but uh, even the color grading that I do, I can usually get the image to look the way I want, and it was a lot of fun to try and uh, get these images to pop a little bit. They were really nice to begin with, but just making them pop and adding a little bit of contrast and changing the colors around. Um, something that did stand out to me, I was playing around with the Shogun, and seeing the difference between the ProRes RAW and the Cinema DNG record time for a one terabyte SSD was amazing. The Cinema DNG, which is great, and I know Cinema DNG is a fantastic format to record in, it gives you tons of flexibility. Uh, we were only getting about 47 minutes of record time, and in the ProRes RAW, even the HQ and the LTE, which really surprised me they were the same, both gave us about two hours of record time. That is a huge difference when it comes to being able to shoot your projects on location in time. So I'm really impressed with ProRes RAW right now. It's a lot of fun to work with, and I think this is a fantastic combination. So look forward to some more tests. I'm probably going to be using it when we do uh, our next big project, and we will see you later.